I'm sure you're thinking horoscopes, really? But trust me, there is a lot of daily English vocabulary to learn in horoscopes and star signs. We are going to look at each star sign and learn some new vocabulary. It's going to be different. It's probably not something that you've seen on any other English language learning channels, but I don't like to follow the rules. So star signs, astrological signs, zodiac signs, or horoscopes. There are a lot of different words for these things. But in the UK, we do say star signs and horoscopes. What's really cool about learning star signs is that there's a lot of vocabulary related to describing people, descriptive words that are actually going to be really useful in your daily life. We're going to look at each star sign and then we're going to look at the qualities of that star sign. So you can see if the description actually matches you or not. Also afterwards, I'm going to describe the weakness of each star sign and give a little bit of advice on how to beat that weakness. So this is very not typical for an English teacher, but hey, we're gonna have some fun. Because I'm British, I like to share my culture with you. One thing that I can tell you is that every major newspaper and magazine actually print daily horoscopes. And what's really strange about that is that actually, I think most British people don't really believe in horoscopes. It's just like a little bit of fun. It's always really funny because the horoscopes tend to be quite dramatic, like over dramatic. And then it just sounds like Professor Trelawney in Harry Potter where, you know, she predicts that he's gonna die like every minute of the day. So let's get started. Tell me if your star sign actually sounds like you. In case you don't follow star signs, Okay, so now you know your star sign, so let's get started. Okay, Aquarius, Aquarius. So, things about you. You're unique, you're very calm, you're independent, you're very giving, so you like to give to people to make them happy, and you're very smart. But you have some bad qualities too. You're hasty, that means you don't take time to think about things, you just do them very quickly. You rebel a lot, you don't like rules. You're fickle, so you have an opinion one day that changes the next day, and you're disobedient. You know, you don't follow rules, and of course it's good to not follow rules sometimes if you're, you know, a unique person, but at the same time there are some rules in life that you do have to follow. But your main weakness is that you debate with yourself a lot. This makes you constantly question if what you're doing is right and if you should continue doing it. Here's my advice for you. Listen to how you feel and what makes you happy. Then make decisions based on that. When you've decided a decision, go for it 100% and don't doubt yourself. Pisces, the mysterious one. You are friendly, you're dedicated, you're kind, and you're a positive and happy person. But sometimes you retreat into yourself, so you close and you go very quiet. You're sentimental, sometimes you're indecisive, and you can be quite unrealistic. Your big weakness is that you're really creative, but it's really hard for you to express your creativity. Here's my advice for you. Always be open to exploring new things. There are so many ways to express yourself and perhaps you just haven't found the right one yet. Keep going and keep discovering. Aries. Aries, the badass. Badass is a slang word for somebody who is confident, who is kind of intimidating, but people still think really, really cool. So your good point is that you are energetic, you're hopeful, you're honest, you're brave, you're passionate, generous, you're adventurous, you're happy. But even with all these amazing qualities, you still have some bad ones. For example, you are impulsive. That means that you don't really think before you do things and you go too fast. This can lead to bad things. You're naive. That means kind of immature. You're not always thinking in a mature way. And you're impatient. So you don't have time to wait. You want things now. But life doesn't work like that. But your major weakness is that you think in extremes. Things are either really, really good or really, really bad. Here's my advice for you. When you're worrying a lot, try to take a deep breath and stay calm. Take things one day at a time. And if that's too hard, one hour at a time. And if that's too hard, five minutes at a time. I promise you, it works. Taurus, the reliable one. You are romantic. 
You're logical, you're hardworking, passionate, you're artistic, you're patient and you're kind. But you're also needy, judgmental and stubborn. But your major weakness is that you stress too much over the instability in your life. Here's my advice. Write a list of your goals and how you can achieve them step by step. Make this a habit to keep checking your goals and your progress so you can keep track of every step that you take and therefore you can feel more like you're in control. Gemini, the bubbly one. Bubbly is a very informal word in English that means that you're happy and positive and full of energy. You're smart, you're cheerful, you're warm and you are charming. But you're also quite fickle. Fickle, that means that you have an opinion one day and it changes the next day, or it can change by the hour. You're also a bit of a gossip. You're gossipy, so you like to talk about other people and you kind of love drama, even if you don't really like being in the drama. But your main weakness is that you always want to discover new things, but that affects your focus on the things that you actually need to do now. Here's my advice to you, a bit more technical this one. Try the Pomodoro method. Basically you sit down and you work without stopping for 25 minutes. Then you stop and you take a 5 to 10 minute break. Keep doing that until you finished your work. Once your work's finished, you can go and explore and discover and do everything that you want to do, but it's important that you get the most critical parts finished first. Cancer, cancer, the sweet one. Sweet in English is very informal and it means kind and caring and innocent. I'm a Cancer, although I don't really agree with the sweet, nice and kind. Maybe I am, but I'm definitely not innocent. So my good points and other Cancer's good points are, we are gentle. We have a strong sixth sense. We can sense when things don't seem right. We're very creative, we're kind, we're dedicated to work and to our family and friends, and we're very, very loyal. Oil. But we're greedy, we're a bit sensitive, and we're possessive. I mean, but I don't think that's me. It's probably you, but I don't think it's me. I'm never greedy, sensitive, possessive. <laughs> a major weakness is that you really need deep connections with people. My advice to you is be honest with your friends and admit your weaknesses and your faults. The people that accept you, even with your weaknesses and your faults, are the ones that you should maintain your friendships with and put time into, because they are the people who accept you for you. Leo, the queen, or king. When we say a queen or a king, it's like slang for somebody who's very confident, someone who's very good at what they do, somebody who can't be destroyed, they can't be beaten, they are just the best. If you are a Leo, you are proud, you're reflective, you're charitable, you like to give to people without expecting anything back. You're loyal and you're really enthusiastic, especially about life, but you may be arrogant, you may be a little conceited, and you're probably just a little bit indulgent. But actually, your biggest weakness is that you worry about people seeing you as a failure. Here's my advice. Think less about what others think and think more about what makes you happy. People may judge you, but if you're happy with what you're doing and you're happy with the actions that you're taking, it doesn't matter about anybody else's opinion. Just focus on what makes you happy. Virgo, the one that's always right. This is actually kind of a bad thing because it means you're a bit stubborn. You are helpful, you're elegant, you're practical, that's useful, and you're very modest. But Sometimes you're a little bit limiting on yourself and on other people. You can be fussy, nothing really pleases you 100%. And you can be, well, a little bit nosy. Sometimes it's not your business what other people are doing or why. Your biggest weakness is that you worry about your weaknesses too much. Here's my advice for you. Be honest with yourself. Identify your weaknesses and identify your strengths. The things that you are weak at, you can work on improving. But remember, Improvement takes time, but wanting to improve is the first step, and it's the most important one. Libra, the quiet one. You're reasonable, you're social, you're charming, you're very artistic, and you're really kind. You're a lovely person. 
but you can be egotistical. Actually, you can be lazy. Sometimes you're kind of careless, so you don't think about the effect that something you do will have on other people. And you can be kind of freewheeling. So, you know, you kind of move, but you don't really have a goal. Your major weakness is that you think too much and you overanalyze every situation. Then you feel like you're going crazy. Here's my advice to you. When you think too much and you feel like you're going crazy, this indicates anxiety and anxiety is horrible try to release your negative energy through exercise and remember that just because you have a thought in your head it doesn't mean that it's true scorpio the crazy one you are mysterious you're intelligent you're independent you're rational and you're sensible. Yes, even though you're a bit crazy sometimes, you are still also really rational, really sensible. But you are easily suspicious. You're suspicious of people and what they want. You can also be quite obsessive. You're complicated. You're kind of possessive actually, and you're arrogant. But your major weakness is that you don't like people knowing the real you. Here's my advice, look, being private is okay, but being cold is not. Relationships are based on honesty and being yourself. Perhaps you just need to find the right people to be open with, and then you will feel more comfortable about people knowing the real you. Sagittarius, the comedian, because you're funny. You are rational, you're brave, you're lively, you're optimistic, and you're insightful. Insightful, that means you're quite wise but at the same time you're forgetful sometimes you don't think before you say things and you can be quite rash that means that you do something without thinking because you're caught up in your emotions but your major weakness is that you think a lot about settling down. When is the right time? Do I want to settle down? Do I want a house and kids and a wife or a husband and a career? When do I want it? Should I do it quickly? Should I do it soon? It's too much. Here's my advice. There are no rules to life and there's no rules on when you do things. You don't have to fit a stereotype or what society tells you that you have to do by a certain time. Stay positive and focus on you and your goals and the rest will come to you at the right time. Capricorn, the helpful one, you are intelligent. You're practical, you're reliable, you're generous, and you are optimistic. But your weaknesses are that you're also quite stubborn. Sometimes you can be very solitary. You like to be on your own and, and you think your own private thoughts without sharing them. And you can be quite suspicious of people too. But your main weakness is that you worry that you won't achieve all of your goals. Here's my advice to you. You're ambitious and that's amazing, but you need to slow down and enjoy the moment sometimes. Life isn't just about achievement, it's also about savoring. And savoring means making the most of the moment. So guys, what do you think? Did the qualities of your star sign actually match who you are? So just from watching this video, you've learned loads of new words and new vocabulary to help describe people. Make sure that you also check the description box. I've put a list of all of the words that were featured in this video. So if you need to look at them again, they are there. So guys, leave a comment below telling me which star sign you are and if the quality is matched. I'm really intrigued to know if these things are actually real or not. At the moment, I'm kind of skeptical. While you're there, why not like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you like my channel and you like what I'm doing here, please do consider sharing my channel or my videos to help me reach 400 subscribers. As always guys, it's an absolute pleasure to teach you English and to help you improve, and it's so awesome to have all your comments every time I post a video. I just love to know that I'm actually helping you and you find my videos useful. If you want, also you can follow me on Instagram, it's at English with Carla. So any suggestions, anything you need to know from me about English, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And until then, I will see you in the next video.